So I unintentionally recorded the last normal weekend in Asheville before Hurricane Helene. Hi y'all, I'm Maggie. I'm the owner and CEO of Rainwater Poster Co. Avery's Music Agency. And on this channel, I record like the behind the scenes of my business in the Asheville music community, as well as myself going to shows, going for runs, things like that. A lot of times I record travels and different shows and events that I go to, but then I also just record weekends in my life. And so this was the weekend in my life, the weekend of September 20th through the 22nd before Hurricane Helene hit on, I think the 26th and 27th. And I was watching this back and working on editing it. And I just realized it's so eerie now because like, I was just promoting cute little fall events and I was so excited for the fall and like we had no idea about the hurricane then. None of those events that I was promoting in this video actually happened. And then I also recorded my last time running with my run group on the River Arts District trails which are all like really gone now. The whole greenway got devastated by the storm and it's just been really eerie for me to watch it back. And I did want to share it because it's just like a capture of a moment in time before everything happened. But I also wanted to just record a quick little precursor and let you guys know that's what the video is about. That's when it was recorded. And please donate as you can to assist people in the Western North Carolina community who are really struggling in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. You know, people have lost houses, lost their vehicles, lost their jobs, so many things. I'm going to put some links in the video description as far as how you can help. And thank you so much. So let's get into the video. Hey, hey friends, welcome back to another weekend in my life. Hi, it's Friday night. It is September the 20th and I am getting ready to get the weekend started. I am going out to one of my music clients album release parties tonight. It's at Citizen Vinyl in downtown Asheville. And tomorrow I'm going to run 10 miles because I'm half marathon training. And then I have about 100 event posters to hang around Asheville this weekend. And as we have time, we are going to set up my brand new beautiful iPhone 16 and I'm super excited. So I'm going to bring y'all along with me. It's a fun work weekend in my life. And for those of y'all that don't know me, hi, I'm Maggie. I'm the owner and CEO of Rainwater Poster Co, a Roots music agency. When I'm not working in the music industry, I'm probably still going to shows because it's my favorite thing ever. And I also am on here showing y'all my thrifting finds, my running adventures, my travels and everything in between. So if this sounds like fun to you, please hit the subscribe button and help my channel grow and please like this video to help it reach more people. Thank you so much. All right, let's go get this weekend started. First and foremost, here is my outfit. I actually wore the same outfit last weekend. I just didn't show y'all, so here we go. So this is Free People that I got at my favorite consignment shop, Reciprocity. Actually, most of this outfit is from there. This fry bag is from there. These beautiful fry moto boots of my dreams are from there. Um, this is just a little fry belt I think I actually got on Amazon. Comfy leggings. And I've had these earrings for like 15 years. Where you been won't matter much to them. Strike the band, this one's for you. Where long good times gone? Where's the life I should have known? Just out here wondering on. This South Silver Good morning.
morning, friends. We are on the struggle bus today. I have not filmed anything yet, but it is Saturday and I'm on my way to go to my run group. I have 10 miles to do today. I'm training for a half marathon that is in three weeks. So I gotta do it. I am in a little bit of a hurry too, because after I run this morning, gotta get back in time to take my little doggo to the vet at 11. He had something going on with his eye and it's doing better, but they're gonna check him out and make sure that he's healing up okay. So gotta run real quick and then go do that. Let's go. Mile one, 12.25. It's a beautiful day out here. Mile two, 12.22. Mile three, 12.22. Mile four, 12.06. Halfway there, y'all. Mile five, 11.50, we're doing it. Woo. Six, 13.53, walk break, we're doing it. Mile seven, 11.51. Mile eight, 14.09. All right, y'all, mile nine, 14.52, we're almost there. Mile 10, 12.25, we did it, y'all. And we're back just in time to get this guy to the vet. We think he scraped his eyeball chasing frisbees. It looks a lot better now, but we're just gonna make sure, make sure he's getting all healed up okay. Yeah, you're a good boy. All right, folks, we are getting ready to go hang some posters. Here is my outfit of the day. There goes my He's feeling better after his visit to the nice vet. Yeah, you're a good boy. So here's my outfit. I made this shirt, it's up in my Etsy store. It's a snake, it's anxiety for when people tell me that I'm so organized. Had these shorts forever. Doc sandals. My favorite little rainbow earrings. All right, y'all, here we are in downtown Asheville. I have two sets of posters to hang today. One is for Asheville Oktoberfest. And the other is for a client who has a show coming up at the Great Eagle. So let's go get started.
friends, good morning. It's Sunday. I slept in a little bit this morning and I've been kind of doing some cleaning and getting the day started. And I'm gonna go ahead and work on setting up my new phone. I'm super excited. Um, I got the iPhone 16 Pro. I went ahead and got the terabyte storage. I'm never gonna run out of storage for my content anymore. I'm so excited. Usually I'm not the person who gets the new phone as soon as it comes out, but I have the 13 Pro right now. That's what I've been filming on up until this point. And I knew that I wanted to upgrade and was thinking of getting the 15, but then there's so many camera enhancements with the 16. I decided to just go ahead and get that. So I am excited to try it out. I will bring y'all along with me as I unbox it and probably will switch over to having the rest of this vlog. My neighbor has a donkey. It's wonderful. Hopefully we'll film the rest of this vlog on the 16. I always get nervous when I'm setting up something new. Um, so we're gonna do that. I'm also got some work to do today. Also gonna try to keep cleaning. And yeah, just a nice chill day. So let's go unbox my new phone. Hey friends, so I might need to use the iPad to film for y'all for a little bit. Um, I went to set up the phone, everything's working great, and apparently it transfers everything. I did not realize that. I thought that I could kind of choose what I wanted to transfer over, so there's a lot of stuff on my current phone. And it's annoying because it's stuff that I don't really want to transfer over, but it's happening. So I guess if you're doing a transfer from one iPhone to another, make sure you delete whatever you don't want to transfer over. But I'm waiting for that to transfer. It is taking a while. So in the meantime, I am making some brunch. Here we go. Bacon, egg, and cheese. guys it says the transfer is complete I'm so excited let's see this is the new iPhone all the bells and whistles so the big thing that's new is this camera shutter button and I'm excited to learn how to use this also I got the iPhone specific case like the Apple brand case for this because it specifically has a button for the new camera button so that is exciting. Uh, let's see, I think there's also this action button, which is not new new, but I do, it's different than what I had on my 13. So um, you can program it to do different things, which is kind of cool. All right, passcode. That's crazy, just all of my stuff is on here, like just like it was before. And I actually need to go through and delete because like not all of this stuff needs to be on here. There were a lot of photos that didn't really need to copy over to here. So there is that. Oh, and it's asking, do I want to pair my watch with my new iPhone? Yes, yes I do. Please and thank you. So this is why I am fully Apple ecosystem and will always be because just the continuity features and the ability where you can easily transfer between devices it is so much better than Android or anything else that you can get very exciting okay so what does it want me to do here hmm. not sure but yeah so I'm noticing right away the screen definitely like seems brighter other than that, I mean, it feels pretty much the same, but I'm really excited to use it and play with the camera, so I will let you guys know. Alright, hey y'all. It's my first video of the weekend with the new phone. 
I've just been working on getting it set up, testing it out a little bit. Really, I feel like I need to take it out to like a show or something to really test it, which I am going back to see Nathaniel Rateliff in the night sweats and my morning jacket again this weekend. So I will test it out there for sure, but I wanna test it out right now. I'm really excited. So I decided to go for a little bike ride and take a couple pictures and videos with my new phone and just get out of the house for a little bit. So that was fun. It's getting dark now. We're going to make some dinner, probably just kind of watch a movie and call it a night here pretty soon. So I will go ahead and end the talking portion here. Thank y'all for following along for a weekend in my life. I always enjoy sharing these with you. If you have any questions about the iPhone 16 Pro, anything you want me to demo with it, anything like that, let me know because I'm really excited to try it out. And please hit like on the video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to help my channel grow. And I hope to see you guys again really soon. Okay, bye.